we became the most intelligent form of life on the planet. We traveled everywhere in the world. We discovered every bit of the planet. Then we learned to create civilizations. And after with these civilizations, we created huge cities. And to show our power to the world and to everybody on earth, we created monuments and wonders. Humans are now everywhere on the planet. Every country, every continent, every square. This life appeared under the form of a tiny cell, then evolving across the eras. And that's how the life became how it is today, abandoned and evolved. Life is abundant on the earth, but life can be also everywhere, everywhere in space, in the universe, it can be on billions of planets, but life can be very precious as well. We don't know if life is elsewhere in the universe, we don't have any proof of that, in that case we can be the only planets in the universe to habit life. And to preserve this life, we need to talk about and get rid of one problem. This problem is plastic pollution. What is plastic pollution? Humanity learned how to turn its black gold into magic. Plastic. Cheap, sterile and convenient, it changed drastically our lifestyle. But this innovative technology got a little out of our control. Plastic has become present everywhere on Earth. We are uh, in an industry of overconsumption. We are driven to consume more, so which means more waste, more plastic. And it had invaded the wildlife, which means our food. And now it's become even present in our bodies. So, what are plastics? The invention of plastic around 100 years ago has completely changed our lives. There are synthetic or semi-synthetic materials made from polymers forming a long chain of molecules groups. Polymers are present everywhere in nature. Silk, hair, cells and even DNA. But we found a way to create them. By playing with the molecules we can form new synthetic polymers. These creations have extraordinary properties. They are very light, resistant, durable and can be modeled in any shape. They don't need manual work, so plastic can easily be mass-produced with industrial processes, which makes plastic astonishingly cheap and investment. We use it in electronics, construction, packaging, healthcare, clothing, household, and many others. Plastics are present everywhere. Being a revolutionary material, plastic became soon part of our bins. 
straws, coffee cups, plastic bags or other packaging stuff. For us, plastic is almost invisible. It passes in our hands and ends up in our bins like plastic was just disappearing. Shamefully, it does not. Indeed, plastic takes 500 to 1000 years to break down, and somehow we come out with the idea to use this tough material for purposes like throwing away. 40% of plastic are used for single-use purposes. That makes 135 million tons of plastic packaging each year. Since the 50s, we have produced 8.3 billion tons of plastic, and only 9% of it has been recycled, 12% burnt, the rest, 79%, is hanging around in landfill or in the environment. Around 8 million tons finishes in the ocean each year giving a scary fact that in 2050 plastic will have outweighed all the fish in the ocean. Its presence in the ocean is so big that marine animals keep getting harmful impacts. Plastics we throw find its way into the oceans. The big pieces of plastic are often eaten by animals causing health problem like suffocation for example. Um, we have problem when animals eat some plastic. They will die if after a specific time when they eat too much. Up to 9 of 10 seabirds, 1 in 3 sea turtles and more than half of whale and dolphin pieces have ingested plastic. Even at the ocean's deepest point, Mariana Trench, scientists found animals who had ingested plastics. All of this is already tragic and very sad for the global wildlife, and specifically to marine wildlife. But what if I told you that there is an even bigger problem? an invisible and destructive problem. But sometimes, plastic decomposes itself into small bits. Those bits are very poisonous for the underwater life of our planet. Microplastics Microplastics are pieces of plastics smaller than 5 mm. With the action of sunlight and water, Plastic decomposes into microplastics. Nevertheless, this is not better. Plastic becomes available even for the tiniest beings in the oceans. They are ingested by zooplankton and others and kill them because plastic is non-nutritive and indigestible. Consequences are terrible. First, if plankton disappear, marine life will too. And if we find out that microplastics are toxic as well, this will be a very bad news because of the food chain, this microplastic will finish in our plates. BPA is used to make plastic bottles transparent, but it is said that it may cause impacts on our hormonal system. Traces of microplastic have been found in a lot of products as salt, beer, and even tap water. Quite simple, it, in, it affects the whole environment. It environs the air, it, it pollutes the waters, it pollutes our soils. Plus, plastic is wandering around us in the air with the participation of air pollution. Burning plastic like bottle and other wastes causes air plastic pollution and rejects toxin in the atmosphere. So, is there any solutions? I think it will be never uh, possible to avoid plastic completely. We have to solve these problems by uh, using less plastics, less uh, single-use dishes. 
Well, it starts off with awareness, the realization of what we're doing to our planet and to ourselves. And then it's the choices we make. Uh, we have choices uh, on how we consume plastic, well consume, buy, um, how we dispose of it and how we recycle it. Of course, I think everybody should first try reducing their plastic waste. There is recycling. And finally, I think we should try to clean the oceans from the monsters we spilled in them. I think the main problem is that it, it's lethargy. People don't understand the issues, don't understand the problem, the long-term problem that it's, that it's bringing. And I think for most people, they're just like, oh, it's someone else's problem, someone else's issue. And I think um, they don't understand that by just doing a little bit better recycling themselves or not using as much plastic themselves, that all adds up to much less plastic use in the world. And I think it's those, um, it's convincing all individuals to take responsibility for their plastic waste or their recycling. Uh, that's the biggest issue. It's awareness, it's information, it's understanding. I think as a, as a society we're getting better at it and it's become much more of a current issue. And in terms of the government, they need to be a bit more strict, uh, and not to say extremely strict, and offer alternatives. And the industries do have the technology today to change. There are alternatives, cassava bay, seaweed, honey, uh, bee wax, are all alternatives to plastic, certain forms of plastics, because there's a lot of different types of plastics that we consume and that we use. Um, so it's at every level. And uh, it's about time that everybody actually does a huge effort. Even when we use plastic, we should use reusable plastic with a good quality, which are produced in an environment-friendly way, then it would be a lot better. And, and what about us, the college? So we meet with them on a regular basis, we push them, our student exec meet with them on a regular basis to say, you know, food choices, prices, healthy eating, plastics, recycling, what are you doing about it? And uh, again, raising that issue with them all the time to try and get that reduced. As a college, all of our um, waste is managed through our estates team, and our estates team have very clear um, methods and targets for recycling. We have an environmental group that staff and students sit on, which again look at those sorts of issues and push the estates team to uh, recycle more. And obviously the more we recycle, the less it costs us as an institution to, to get rid of our waste, because obviously the more waste we have, the more commercial waste we have, the more it costs us to, to get rid of it. So, there are solutions, and we all have to react together. Otherwise, the universe might lose what he has the most beautiful and precious life.